All right. So before we begin, does anybody have any questions? Have we the question van commencer? Again, online, you can ask questions in the chat. My colleague will be able to ask those questions. Si vous avez des questions, oui? Vous pouvez prendre des photos, ça me dérange aucunement. Merci. All right. Et aussi, je voulais vous rappeler um, que vous pouvez vous exprimer dans la langue de votre choix. Uh, you're welcome to express yourself in the official language of your choice. We have three colors. Um, it should be easy. We have white, sand color, beige, brown, whatever you want to call it, and blue. We also have multiple paintbrushes, different sizes. My canvas, as you might see, is much larger than yours. For comparison online, that's the 11 by 14. Mine's much larger. For viewing purposes, because there's people way in the back, and I hope that they'll be able to see. We also have with us a um, an example portrait that I painted, uh, and we'll be able to wheel that around if anybody would like to see it close up. Si vous aimeriez voir la peinture plus proche, de plus proche, nous pouvons uh, venir vous voir durant l'événement. And for anybody who is not an artist, who does not believe they are an artist. My 10 year old son painted this with me in under an hour and a half while I was painting that one. We kept it to under an hour and a half. And if, I mean, if a 10 year old is able to do this with a, <laughs> with, with a few meltdowns, uh, he, did, he, was, he was discouraged. So uh, I believe that you all can. Um, puis vous êtes libre de vous exprimer dans Votre façon, vous n'avez pas besoin de me suivre. You do not have to follow me. There is creative liberty here. If you want a brown sky, go for it. Okay? If you want to add birds, the caquillages, seashells, the oiseaux, n'importe quoi, it's your choice. It's up to you. All right. We also have lots of napkins and paper towels because we are limited with only two glasses of water and three brushes each. So we'll be using this to be wiping off our brushes. Nous allons essuyer nos pinceaux au fur et à mesure. So, donc on a beaucoup de papier et tout. Et, uh, c'est ça. Water, and this is going to be our palette. On a des assiettes. And we'll be putting our paint in the plates. Any questions? Yes, oui. Thank you. Yes. So some canvases do not have tape around the edges. Should you wish, uh, we do have masking tape. And the difference is that you can create a border. Vous allez pouvoir créer un genre de cadre autour de votre peinture. You can make a border like a frame with the tape. Or no tape, no frame, as you wish. So if anybody would like to create a frame, please raise your hand and a colleague will bring tape. I recommend putting tape flush with the edge and then a second piece of tape that overlaps just so that you don't get paint on this side of your canvas. So I do two layers of tape. And I'm going to need some tape myself. This is a perfect opportunity to get set up at home. Vous pouvez uh, mettre the tape chez vous si vous voulez pour avoir un cadre. Yes. So at the end, you will be removing it. So it's the most satisfying part. Mm -hmm. So again, I line this up with the edge. And just make sure that you're, when you're putting the tape on, Hi everyone. When you're putting the tape on, make sure that you're pressing hard enough that it won't, the paint won't bleed under. And then I'll do a second layer of tape.
the second tape doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, I see there was a question about the mix that is used for the color. Um, like my colleague responded, the tan khaki brown is already a pre-mixed color, but we will be mixing it later while we're painting. And I'll show you how it's very, really custom. Like we have the three colors, we'll mix them a bit to lighten or to like darken the colors or give it a bit of like a green color. Um, I got them from Michael's. Michael's has a, usually when you go in person at the store, they have great deals. You have coupons, 40% off. Donc les couleurs, je les, on va les mélanger ensemble, mais c'est trois couleurs de base, si c'est tout, c'est pas, c'est très facile, c'est très flexible, vous pouvez mélanger les couleurs comme vous voulez. So, avec le bleu, with the blue. Okay, yours is going to be easier because it's on the table. You do the eyes. And with the white in the middle of the canvas, you got a nose. Mine's droopy. Look at that nose going down. <laughs> and the bottom. Voila. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a smile. Suppose it's our sourire. That's just me. Look at that drooping nose. <laughs> okay, avec votre pinceau, with the biggest, with the biggest brush that you have, we're going to start in the white in the middle. On va commencer au centre avec le pinceau, le plus gros des pinceaux. No, no, you don't. Just like that, and we're gonna going horizontally, so un bar à l'autre horizontal. You're just going to put your brush into the white, going back and forth, and you're going to start spreading down. And this is where you can add more to your plate. My suggestion, since we use a lot of white, is to put your white in the biggest part. <laughs> so. On veut que ça soit quand même liquide, mais pas trop. So we do want it to be, yeah, we do not need to put the brush in the water first. That's perfect. And we can, you want it to be liquid, but not too much. On veut pas trop que ça soit trop liquide, mais juste assez que ça mélange les couleurs. And slowly, we're going to keep going down into the beige. It does not have to be perfect. This is just the base. Well, the best part, the best part about acrylic is that you can let it dry and paint over it. Donc, si vous faites des erreurs avec l'acrylic, ça va sécher. Vous allez pouvoir repeindre par dessus après. And I'm just making sure that the paint goes to the edges and try to keep nice long strokes. And I'm going to go up a little bit and just without adding paint to my brush, just keep bringing the beige up into the white a little and down. And how is it looking? Comment ça va? I know, kind of cookish. Now, if you find that it's too dark, you can always add white in the middle and bring the white back down. Another trick, if you have too much paint on your brush, this is where napkin or paper towel comes in handy. You just wipe it off. If I have too much white or too much beige, I'm wiping it off and it's basically absorbing the paint. Si vous avez trop de peinture, vous pouvez utiliser votre pinceau, un papier suite tout, 
enlevez la peinture dessus votre pinceau, retournez dessus votre peinture, puis ça va absorber la peinture. Comme, comme ça. Meilleur ami, là. Votre meilleur ami aujourd'hui. C'est pour ça que j'en ai beaucoup. <rire> OK. Now, we're going... <laughs> Did you say feng shui? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so I don't have water in my cup. I'm going to steal yours. Look at me, I'm stealing all your stuff today. I just take Jenny. Oh, that's okay. All right. So we're going to reuse the same brush. Vous allez réutiliser la même pinceau. And now we're going to put it in the water. On va le nettoyer dans l'eau. We're going to take our a clean paper towel, napkin, and wipe the brush to get as much paint off as possible and as much water off. If needed, please go ahead and add white to the middle. I need more, so I'm adding white. On va répéter la même chose. On va commencer au milieu dans le blanc. Mais là, on va faire le contraire, on va monter. We're going to do the same thing as before, except the opposite. We're going to go up into the blue from the white in the middle. Yeah, back and forth, horizontal. Good baby. <laughs> I'll be adding blue to my palette in And it can be a basic plate. We just had the ones that were separate. And I'm going to add more blue up top. Make sure that I get it to the corners. And look, mine's not perfect. Je vais juste échapper du bleu dans le blanc. C'est pas grave. And like all depending on the color that you have at home, it, it'll look a bit different. Si vous voulez ajouter du couleur, vous pouvez. If you want to add colors, if you want to add a bit of green, you want to add a little bit of brown, anything you want to add, this is your painting. We just chose three colors to make it simple. All right. And we're going to drag some of that blue down into the white. Don't forget, you can also wipe your brush. You can also wipe your pencil, don't forget. As a reminder, you really, you don't want your canvas too wet. So just bring it down. It can overlap into your beige. All right. We're going to let our canvas sort of dry a bit. This is your opportunity to fix what you want, ask questions. If you need assistance, it's also the chance that you have to chat with your neighbor a little bit and take a sip of some punch or refill your punch for those who are here in person. If you need to wash brushes, those who are joining us online, this is a great opportunity. You want to go get a coffee, great opportunity for that as well. On va prendre une petite pause. Ça va laisser la peinture sécher un petit peu. Ça va vous donner la chance de corriger des choses, de poser des questions. All right, uh, everybody at home, hear me? We're going to get back into it. Nous allons continuer. For this part, 
je vais vous donner des options pour ce parti. Nous allons peindre les nuages. We're going to paint the clouds. So I have two options for you. You can take paper towel or napkin, bunch it up into something like this, and you're going to dip it in the white paint. So put some white paint on your plate if you haven't already. And about, I would say about a third of the way up, you can dab some of the paint. And we're going to make clouds. So that's one option. Ça, c'est la première option pour faire les nuages avec le papier situ dans la peinture blanc. Or you'll take your medium-sized brush. A round brush is preferred. Mine is not round. So do what I can with what I have. And you'll paint your clouds with the brush. As you wish. That will require also wiping your brush because of the blue. I'm going to do the paper towel to start. Also, um, if, if you don't feel that your clubs look nice, we can come back to it at the end. Uh, let it dry and then come back and, and fix them up. That's what I did with mine. I did not like my clouds. And I went back and I finished them and I was happy with them. I'm going to take a new, I'm going to take a new napkin and keep doing it. Keep going back in with the white. Like, it's nothing extravagant at this point. All right. All right, so how is everybody doing right now? <laughs> Beautiful, I love it. All right, everybody's good. Now we're gonna take some of our blue and we're gonna bring it over to the white, the palette, the side of the palette where there's the white. And we're gonna start mixing the blue and the white together. I'm just trying to get reflection out of there the medium brush so your medium one i got a light blue going and this is where we're going to give our cloud depth and we're going to start separating them so that we can start seeing different proximities of clouds so ça va séparer les nuages avec notre bleu paul so we're going to go in and you can add a little bit as if it's the bottom of a cloud that's behind. And it doesn't have to be perfect lines either. And I just like decide, like I'm looking at my, the, the, the one that I did and I see, oh, okay, look, there's 
you're kind of making like the cloud shape. And we're gonna do that to the clouds in the front as well. It's like at the, the base of the cloud where it's most dense. And if you wanna maintain the same consistency, you can always take a clean paper towel and just kind of go in there to take off any of the extra. And if you find that it's not a, enough of a contrast, just add a bit more blue. If it's too dark, too much of a contrast, add a bit of white. Si c'est trop foncé, ajoute un peu de blanc. Si, si c'est pas assez pâle, vous pouvez ajouter du blanc. Bleu ou blanc, dépendant qu'est-ce que vous cherchez. Pas chercher. So I want more dark. It's not dark enough for me. And of course, we're painting on top of wet paint. So the colors are going to be blending, which is why I keep going back onto my palette, wiping off my brush and going back in. Si je suis pas le pinceau, les couleurs vont continuer à se mélanger. So je suis le pinceau, je trempe dans la peinture, je retourne dessus la peinture et je répète la même méthode darker towards the bottom of the cloud, lighter towards the top. Any questions? I'm gonna keep, go keep at it. <laughs> I'm building up my cloud. So if I'm not talking, I'm just in the zone. Okay, and if, it does, if you're not liking it, it's okay. We can go back and do it after when it dries. Yeah, no one, no one will know, yeah. <laughs> um, one of the uh, participants said, we're not signing it at the end, so no one will know who painted it. be honest, I'm going to co come back to my clouds after. That's how I find it helps. And now if you wipe off your brush, you can also put it in some water to wipe it off to clean it. Wipe it on some paper towel. You can grab some white and do some highlights on your clouds too to se really separate them. For this part, I'm using the brush just because I feel like it gives it a bit of a cleaner, cleaner look. The funny thing about painting, though, is that the closer you get to the painting, the less realistic it looks, and you'll see all the brush strokes. But then the farther you get, the more realistic it can look. You guys are right in front of it, so don't take yourself too seriously. <laughs> and uh, I promise. If you look at it with fresh eyes tomorrow, oh yeah, it would, it would look really good. And if it doesn't, you can fix it.
I promise I was frustrated with doing the clouds myself. Like, and I felt like every time I tried to fix it, it was getting worse. But just take a break from it and we can go back later. All right, I'm going back in again with a little bit of a little bit of that nap, the paper towel, and I'm going to come back to the clouds later. So we can leave the clouds be for now, and we can come back to them later. How's everybody doing? Good? Clouds are in. <laughs> the clouds are hard. Clouds are in the clouds. Okay. Look at me. So if anybody at home uh, wanted to use a ruler or a piece of cardboard to do the horizon line, you're welcome to. I do it freehand. I do not use a ruler. If you want, you're very much welcome to put a ruler against the edge of the clouds between like the bottom of the clouds and like paint your blue across. I don't do that. You could also let it dry at home. Let's just say you want to redo it at home. You let it dry, you take a hair dryer to it, tu fais sécher, um, puis tu peux retourner dessus avec, uh, tu peux mettre, uh, coller la tape dessus, puis you can, uh, uh, stick some tape to it after it's dry and then do the horizon line and peel the tape off. Of course, ours isn't dry, so if we put tape on it, it's ripping off our paint. I'm going to take my biggest brush into the blue. And I'm going to make a straight line at the bottom of my clouds. Straight line. Yeah. Oops. My umbrella. And you're going to take your blue and you're going to start dragging it down a little bit. Thanks. Horizontal strokes, nice long horizontal strokes. Until you get about halfway down your canvas, a little bit past the halfway point. And then you're gonna add 
white to your blue. Do I need to add more? I'm just gonna add white to my brush and go into the blue that I already have. And you're gonna go up and down. Bring the white up and then bring the blue down. Yes. Yeah, so add some white to your brush. You can keep the blue on it. And then you'll start at the bottom of where your blue is. And you're gonna bring the white up into the blue. And then you're gonna go down. Now, you can add blue, it's not enough, or white. The idea is the closer you get to the sand, the lighter it's going to be, the more white it's going to be. I'm also going to be putting a little bit of the sand color on my palette. Je vais acheter un peu de beige, le genre de brun beige, la, la couleur du sable. Puis je vais peinturer en bas ici, en bas de l'eau, puis en haut du sable. I'm going to add some of that beige right here and going up into the water. I'm going to mix, take some of that white and blue mix, and then I'm going to kind of bring it into it. So we're kind of blending. It's going to turn into a little bit of a, a green, like a pale green. Sure. Um, so I'm taking a bit of the beige, the sand color, and I'm adding it right at the bottom of the water line. And then when I've applied it, I'm going to go back to my palette. I'm going to take some white and blue that's mixed together. I'm going to mix it into that beige, into the water, and it's going to give a bit of like a green, a light green color. And right now I have a harsh beige line here, and I don't want a harsh line, so I'm going to keep going over until it blends. I'm adding a bit of beige into the, the white here at the edge to smooth it out a bit. Does not have to be perfect. My brush is pretty dry, so I'm pulling it up into the deep water without adding any paint to it. So far, the whole time, I've been using the same brush. If there is too much paint, I will wipe it, but I'm not putting it in the water. I want to keep it a dry because I'm using the paint. And then as it dries, I'm just, it's kind of fading up. So I'm pulling the paint from the canvas up as opposed to adding more unless I absolutely need it. So hope that answers the question. We're not cl cleaning with water per se. And uh, we can take another little break. I'll let you all kind of My arms. rest your arms. <laughs> we'll prendre une autre petite pause uh, pour, uh, if you need to stand, si vous avez besoin de, de promener un petit peu, faire dégourdir les jambes, if you need to just walk around a little bit, refill your drinks, fix your paintings, ask questions, you want to fix your clouds, anything you want to do.
<laughs> All right, now we're going to get very creative. We're going to take our medium size or small brush, depending at home, ours um, that we have today is quite small. It's like smaller than my pinky. Um, so about that size or smaller, we are going to clean it. it. Today, the one that we have here, it would be the medium one. But for those at home, I'm not sure what medium is. <laughs> so we want a small, small enough and you're going to dry it as much as you can. Try to get it very dry. If you have a spot on your plate that is clean, we're going to add white. On va faire le rivage de l'eau. We're going to do the shoreline of the water. So I'll explain a little bit the technique that I'll be using, and then feel free to join in when you're ready. From whichever direction you want to go, it can be a straight enough shoreline. It could be on an angle uh, going down to the right or going down to the left, however you want to do it. You're going to do little strokes, really little strokes. So it's not perfect. I wouldn't even say strokes. You're kind of just dabbing your brush onto it, but you're making a line. We're just not doing one straight long line. We're doing little imperfect dabbing. You can keep your brush horizontal for now and just Pull it up and down, however you want to do it. It could be straight too. And we've got a guide for our shoreline. If your painting is wet, if the sand is wet, this is going to be hard. Si le beige est trempe en ce moment, ça va être difficile. The farsa. So I would suggest, you know, if you're getting frustrated, you'll have to let it dry and try it again <laughs> later. Yes, if you're at home, grab a hair dryer. That works wonders. And when you're happy with that, we're going to go back in over that line and we're going to create thicker areas and thinner areas. So I'm going back in. Doing the same method. And it's just making it a bit thicker. Can everybody see? Just making it a bit thicker. It is 1 p.m., so if anybody does have to leave, thank you so much for joining us, and please let the team know if you would like us to send you the recording. C'est uh, 13 heures, donc si vous avez besoin de nous quitter, uh, merci beaucoup pour votre par participation. Uh, veuillez uh, nous laisser savoir si vous aimeriez avoir l'enregistrement de notre vidéo, puis uh, on va vous envoyer ça. As the white dries, you will see that it starts to fade. So you can go back over.
We're going to clean our big brush with the not so clean water that we have in front of us. and wipe off all the water and paint to get the brush nice and dry. On va laver et sécher le pinceau. If you're if at home you have a new brush, that that would be amazing because we will be using white. Using the big brush, we'll be going into the white. But we do not want a lot of paint on this. So we're still going to be taking paper towel. I wasn't kidding when I said this would be your best friend today. And you're going to dry off as much as you can, either like that or on your plate. You can just wipe off paint off the edge of your plate like this. And you want it to be pretty dry because we're going to go into Kind of like you can be like diagonal or straight as you wish. I think I'm going to give mine a little, I guess I'll go cut it straight and very lightly with a very light hand. You're going to start at the edge of the shoreline and just drag your brush up. So I'll come walk around the room so everyone can see. I'll just go close up for the video. You go to the shoreline and you're just dragging up the paint. And you want it to kind of fade out. Don't, this is, just below, this is just like the, the background. We're gonna be adding on top of it. So it'll all blend. Um, and like you can pull it up as high as you want. I'm actually going to keep pulling it without adding paint. So I'm not adding paint right now. I'm just taking the white that's on my brush. So. And how's it going? Excellent. So if you're ready to keep going, we'll take our medium small brush back in the white with the same method that I was doing earlier. So my brush is, this one's rectangular. So I'm putting it like the long edge horizontal. And we're gonna be making kind of like snaky lines that don't have to be even. And imagine like you see this, like the straight line here. So I'm not necessarily following the edge of my shoreline, but I'm going to start my line at that edge. And I'm making these little horizontal strokes, these little horizontal strokes. And I'm making like a, a snaky line. And you can branch it out. It does not have to be perfect. And we're going to make a bunch of them. So they could be snaking a lot. It can be more straight. So you can do them sideways, kind of going down this way. And it's okay for it to be bright. So you can keep adding white to it. 
But right now I'm just kind of tracing where I'm going to put them and then I'll go back over them after. So. And the, the strokes can even be a bit long too. You're kind of just doing random. You're following the snaky pattern, but your strokes are random. They don't have to be equal. I'll walk around for those who can't see. We'll search somewhere that new. Do the snaky lines connect to the front of the wave? They do, Christina. Thank you for asking. So we will be building up more white to really like get rid of the. I guess if there's any demarcation line here and we'll just, and they don't have to perfectly connect either, but that's basically. <laughs> so mine are pretty light. So I'm going to keep going and I'm going to add more. As it dries, it gets light. So I just add on top of it. You can thicken the shoreline. <laughs> yeah, this could make a great Father's Day gift. <laughs> Made with love. Our kettle for the fatty pie. Hey, we are not done with the, the shoreline here. We're not done with the shallows. Okay. With our smallest brush, the one we haven't used yet, the itty bitty pointy brush. The smallest one that we have. You'll go back in, and now we're going to make really small little wave lines. So we're kind of doing, instead of coming down like vertical snake lines, we're kind of going to do like little across in between these little, little kind of wavy lines. If anybody would like to see the, the painting that is here as an example, it would help give a visual of the little um, sneaky lines. The horizontal sneaky lines we're going to do with a small brush. Please raise your hand and my colleague Anna can bring the painting closer to you. Thanks, Anna. Okay, so for my online friends, I'm grabbing more paint on my little brush. We're going to do, instead of vertical lines coming down, kind of hard to see, but we're going to do very small kind of horizontal lines. And we're gonna fill up as much of the space in between all of that white with the little lines. And they can be faint, they can be long, they can be up and down. They're just... Just, you know, throwing them in there. The higher you get towards the deeper water, the shorter your lines will get, the smaller they'll get. So they can end up being little dots the higher it goes. And the more faded your white will be. The closer to the shore, the more bright you want the white to be. The farther, the more faded you want it to be. So if your brush is pretty dry, that's when I would go into the deeper part here and do little itty bitty squiggles and dots, which I am I can show you here. And I'm going to walk around the room a little.
Again, I'm just going back in with white, trying to brighten up sections of it. So I am not done with that section, but I think a lot of you are. So you can either take your medium, large, small brush, whichever one you want, grab some white and throw in some waves, some reflections of water in the back. So uh, I'm gonna actually use my, I think I'll take my larger brush. I'm going to wipe off some of the white just so it's not too loud. And I'm just going to lightly brush in some horizontal reflections of light, basically. And it's like very light handed as much as possible. Some areas can be a bit darker. I'm going to add a little bit of blanc. On pèse pas trop fort avec le pinceau, mais ça va faire les genres de vagues ou les reflets de la lumière sur l'eau, sur l'océan. You can even thicken your shoreline a bit with your big brush and do that type of uh, that white, like the, the light strokes that we did earlier if you want. Yeah. Like I said, I'm, I I want to go back into my the water here at the shore and add a lot of little white dots and lines to really give it more of that transparent watery look. You can add beige back in, you could add blue back in, whatever you want to do. Like I said, it's your painting. If you want to put footprints in the sand, add dots in the sand. And with that fabulous same technique of a white brush, the biggest one, and a dry white brush. So we wipe it on our paper towel or Kleenex. You can go to the corner or wherever you want in the top of the canvas of your choice. And we're going to make the sun, the sun, the rays of sun coming through. So I'll show you on the example. I'll show online. We're gonna be doing this part with a dry white brush. So we have paint, but we want it to be dry. And you'll be just doing strokes coming from the top with a very light hand. Thank you. Thank you for participating. Um, and another way to think about it, and no façon de, de le voir, 
c'est comme un triangle. It's like a triangle. Le point triangle, ça commence ici dans le coin. Puis là, les rayons, it, like, it opens up like a triangle coming down. So it's the same starting point, and then I bring it out. And if you want it darker, you just keep going over it. So, if you're happy with it, I invite you to sign your name. I'm, I signed mine in the sand on this one. I just did my initials. And the most satisfying part for those who put tape on is peeling the tape off. So, if you want to, I invite you to do so. Si vous voulez enlever la tape, si vous êtes uh, content, satisfait avec votre peinture, je vous invite à faire ça. I'm not quite happy with mine. I want to keep working on it a little bit. But we are coming to the five-minute mark. Il reste à peu près cinq minutes. Donc, c'est ça pour aujourd'hui que je voulais vous montrer. Vous pouvez continuer à... Jouer avec votre peinture. You can play with it. This is your painting. I'm going to play with mine. I know I will. Merci à tout le monde. Thank you, everybody. Passez une belle journée. Have a great day. You're welcome. And uh, thank you. Happy National Public Service Week, everybody.